In today's video, we are going to talk about orientation to midline and orientation to vertical. Now, these are two issues that are common with anyone who's had damage on the right side of the brain. Generally speaking, not everyone has these issues, but they are more common with someone who has damage on the right side of the brain, and they can dramatically interfere with standing confidence, walking confidence, balance confidence in general with either standing or walking, and it does produce this sensation that you're falling when you aren't actually falling, and we're gonna go into why that is and how you can start working on correcting that and getting better confidence or building your overall confidence when you're standing and not always have that sensation when you're falling when in fact you might not actually be off balance. If you're new to this channel, I'm Tara, I'm a neurologic physical therapist. And on this channel, we talk about anything and everything related to mobility, health, fitness, and mindset in the context of neurologic injury with the end goal of empowering you with as many tools as possible to take ownership of your rehab and your health, to live an overall more active, more mobile, pain-free, happier, healthier life. So with all that said, the two main topics that are gonna be the focus of today's video are midline orientation or awareness and orientation or awareness to vertical. And they are two issues that come up in most cases, not all, but in most cases, they're more commonly associated with someone who has damage on the right side of the brain. So if that is you and you have had damage on the right side of your brain, you may notice that you kind of stay over your stronger side. And a lot of people think that's because you're compensating for weakness on one side of your body. So you're just trying to get over your stronger side, which is common. And I do talk about that a lot on this channel, but it could also be that you're not oriented to midline. So if midline, middle is where our nose is, sometimes after a stroke on the right side of the brain, your middle has now shifted. So if this was your old middle where your nose is, now you think this is middle right here and your whole world kind of aligns to that. So if you want to be balanced or you want you feel like you're going to be centered over your feet, you're going to orient to a new midline, which is off towards your right side. So what that means is if someone like your therapist or a family member tells you to get centered over your feet, you're gonna feel like you're falling to the left. Because now this is your new middle. This is where middle actually is. This is where your middle now is. So when you actually get in the middle or someone cues you to be in the middle, you feel like you're way off to the left. Okay, so that, that's issue number one, and we call that like a lack of midline awareness or midline orientation. The other thing that the literature shows, and it's something that I do see clinically, is that some people lose the orientation to vertical. So if I asked you to draw a vertical line straight up and down, it should be perpendicular to the floor, meaning that it should come 90 degrees straight up from the floor. And what they have found is that when they do this with some people that have had damage on the right side of the brain, they actually kind of draw a line on a little bit of a diagonal. And so your uh, awareness, your vertical now is kind of on a diagonal. Your brain thinks this is vertical instead of this being vertical. So we call that like lack of orientation to vertical. So what that means is, is that you may be tipped over here and think you're perfectly balanced, and if someone asks you to orient or align to what vertical actually is, you feel like you're falling way over in this direction. Okay, so that means that you are not oriented to vertical, which is different than um, many of my videos. What I talk about is that you compensate because you're weak on this side. This is a little bit different. This is a perceptual issue. In most cases, you probably have a little bit of both going on, that you're compensating because this side is your stronger side, but also you may not be oriented to midline and you may not be oriented to actual vertical. So now why do I tell you 
all of that is that your thought process needs to be a little bit different if you're trying to regain symmetry or regain your ability to maintain your center of mass within your base of support. And that is what we're going to go over in today's video is how do you make this normal again? How do you make vertical, your body in vertical, feel comfortable again? And how do you overcome that sensation when you're in the middle, overcome that sensation that you're falling to the weak side? Well, you just have to expose yourself enough times to vertical and to midline until your brain kind of recalibrates to what actually is midline and what actually is vertical. And it takes a ton of patience and it takes breaking this down into its most smallest components, making you, getting you in positions where you are going to feel the safest in getting into actual middle and having that sensation that you're falling and being able to stay there without panicking. So hopefully that all makes sense. And that is going to be the progression of activities that we're going to go through today. All right. So for these exercises to reorient to vertical and reorient to midline, remember in some cases, when you're here, you feel like you're balanced. So when you actually get to midline or middle or vertical, you feel like you're falling towards this side. So setup is everything. Making your brain and your body feel safe and creating enough experiences where you get in middle and you don't fall. So for now, it's going to be very uncomfortable and that's totally normal, but it's being able to stay there again and for lack of a better term or kind of a simplified term, it's to get your brain to recalibrate so that this is your normal. This becomes your new normal again. So we start by sitting on the corner of a mat or if you, I wouldn't do this if you have a folding mat table because it actually says in the instructions not to sit on the corners like this because the folding table will actually, could potentially fold. So I recommend maybe a chair without armrests and you want to be on the corner of it so that your thighs are not supported so that your, your body actually has to kind of feel what it feels like to get your weight over towards one leg. And then you're going to set your arm up onto a stable surface. Now this is a rolling table. I don't recommend using a rolling table. You need something very secure and very solid to make you feel comfortable to get into midline. And you're just going to hold it. Literally just hold it like this. Now the things that you want to pay attention to that most people do is when you get in med middle, remember you feel like you're falling this way. So some people try and bring their foot over because they feel like they're falling. Try not to move your feet. Try and keep your feet right side by side. Try not to work this foot over because remember again when you're in middle you might feel like you're falling that way. Try and keep your feet equal distance from the middle of your body and just hold that position. That's it. Now, what are we doing? We're exposing our brain and our body to actual middle, even though you might feel like you're falling, and just holding it. Paying attention that you're not actually falling, right? So every time you feel, you get the sensation you're falling, you wanna shift back over, try and fight that urge, stay in the middle, and just hold it. And again, you most likely are going to get these waves where you feel like you're falling to the side because remember this was your old this is where you think vertical is. Vertical's actually here, so when you get to vertical, you're going to feel like you're falling that way. Once you feel like you can do that, then you're going to actually kind of even get further over the left leg and try and reach across midline and then come back. Again, exposing yourself to getting over onto this side. Now, people that have like this cluster of symptoms, this vertical orientation and midline orientation issue, a lot of times you also have neglect. So that's really important to remember is that 
what I've, the way I've heard it described is that you're just, your world feels like it's black or darkness over here. Remember, if you have neglect, you feel like you don't have an arm, you don't have a leg. So when you actually get across midline, you feel like you're entering this dark hole, this black space. So just be aware of that, that that is just your brain playing tricks on you. And when you cross midline, kind of allow yourself to go into that like dark empty space and hold it and the goal is is that the more you expose yourself to that direction your world will expand your world is not going to just be set to this area right here but what we're trying to do is to expand your world back so that you can see past your nose or you have more awareness past your nose so be patient and just go slow but try when you feel scared or you feel nervous and you feel like you want to shift back over onto like what I call the safe side or the comfort zone try to hold back and not do that and try and really stay in that uncomfortable position and reach across reach across reach across and hold it. Now, once you feel you, like you can do that, this is scary for a lot of people, but we're actually gonna try and reach across and reach down and then back up. Now, purpose of this is, is that a lot of times you don't use your involved leg, either for some of you, you just, forget you have a leg so you almost feel like you you have you don't have a support on this side so what we're basically doing is we're challenging you that you need to push with this leg so you may avoid this position because again imagine that there's not a leg here and that's what your brain is feeling well then in that case you feel like you're just going to topple over so we're trying to Teach your brain that there isn't a leg over here and it does have the ability to push into the ground. We're just gonna challenge it a little bit. So you're gonna reach down a little bit, and then a little bit more, and then a little bit more. The goal is, is that you could try and reach down all the way down towards the uh, outside of your involved foot and then back up. Now, pay attention because some of you might try and step over. Remember, if you feel like you don't have a leg here, you're gonna step over so that you can, you can have support over here. So try not to do that. If you have someone to help you, maybe um, help have them pay attention and make sure that you don't do that with your leg because a lot of times you don't realize you're doing it and they can maybe cue you or kind of even hold your uninvolved leg out of, over here so it doesn't do that. And then again, you're just gonna reach down and come back up. Now, once you feel like you've gotten pretty good at that, remember our goal is, is that we're trying to work on standing and work on walking. So we're gonna move to a higher surface and try and go through that same progression again. So again, we're working towards being standing, trying not to have your thighs supported so your legs do have to do a little bit more work. And then again, you're just gonna reach towards your involved side and then come back. It does help to have some kind of a support. Again, it's worth repeating. I'm doing this just because of lack of room, but you don't want anything on wheels. You want something very, very stable so that your brain feels comfortable that, remember, when you're middle, you're gonna feel like you're falling this way. You want your brain to feel comfortable that there is something over here because you are gonna feel off balanced, okay? So again, you're just gonna reach across and back, reach across midline, hold it, fight the urge to step that foot across, fight the urge to get back into your comfort zone, really try and expose yourself to middle and actual vertical as you reach across. Then once you can do that, we are gonna challenge that leg a little bit and kind of force it to push a, a little bit. We want your brain to recognize that there is a working leg over here and that it you have a pillar over here. You're not just, you don't just have one pillar, but you have two pillars. So you're gonna lean in that direction and lean towards the outside of your foot. 
Now, very common, two common things I see is that you might try and work your foot over or you just kind of shift your weight this way and try and reach around that way. That's just you trying to stay in your comfort zone and try that reach. Remember, if you feel comfortable, you're not doing it correctly. You should feel like you're falling towards your weak side. Now, I do not recommend you move to a higher surface like this unless you have someone to help you. These are not things you want to do on, on your own to begin uh, at the beginning. Part of the reason is, is that you really don't have any, sometimes you don't have connection with this leg. And when you lean, you won't push with this leg, like so, some in some cases. So I don't recommend that you, you do this, this one on your own without someone with you or without a lot of structures around you to kind of help you um, in case you lose your balance. Okay, so again, you're just going to reach. And then now I have to use this leg to push back up. Reach and then push back up reach and then push back up same progression that we went through on the lower surface we're just working to a higher and higher surface progressing towards standing all right and then the final group we're going to do is we're actually now going to practice in standing i love a corner because this is vertical, so these walls are actually helping your brain to orient to actual vertical. Again, I'm gonna repeat it again because it's so, so, so important. When you're in vertical, when you are actually vertical, you feel like you're falling this way, or if, if you have this issue. Uh, so the walls help your brain to know, okay, like the, this is actual vertical, this isn't vertical, right? This isn't vertical here, but this is vertical here. The walls actually help with that. So you're going to get in the corner. You're going to have your feet, start with your feet side by side, and then you're just going to lean towards the left side. Now you want to feel, you should feel like you're falling to the left, and then you just want to hold it. So remember, we're trying to recalibrate to actual vertical. Okay. And again, you're going to feel like you're falling to the left. And then now you're going to reach across midline. Now you're really forcing yourself to use that left leg. Again, remember neglect a lot of times goes along with this. With neglect, a lot of times like you will not or sometimes you will not activate this leg at all, even though your weight is shifting onto it. So you're trying to challenge your body to actually start using that leg again. Reach across and back reach across and back to, to straight. Now, right now my feet are about hip width apart. So the next progression would be to bring your feet together and do the same thing. So you're going to reach across. Remember, if you're trying to work that foot around, it means that you just, you feel like you're falling that way and you're trying to compensate for that a little bit. So try not to do that. Try and reach across and expose yourself to leaning towards that side so that your brain can understand that, okay, I'm leaning, but I'm not here, which is what your brain is probably gonna feel like, right? So you're trying to get a little bit there and recalibrate your brain to actual vertical and actual middle. So the feet are side by side now. Once you feel comfortable with that, then we're gonna stagger. So now this puts a lot of weight onto your involved leg. If you have that neglect, it really forces you to have to use this leg, which your brain is not gonna like. Because you're, again, remember, Sometimes your brain just thinks there's not a leg over here and you're going to go through that same progression again with your feet staggered and just hold it. And then come back up. And then once you can feel like you're comfortable with all of those, you're going to try and stand with your feet crossed. Now this is extremely hard for a lot of people if you have this 
disorientation to actual vertical and midline. Because remember, now you feel like you're falling way over to this side. So you're just trying to expose yourself to getting past midline a little bit and reach across and back up. Now, if any of these positions start to scare you a little bit or you get really disoriented, one trick you can do is try and find a door, find a window, find something that is vertical that's in your field, in your sight, um, and orient your brain to that. So try and overcome that strong sensation that you are severely off balance by focusing on vertical structures in your environment, that sometimes can help. And just use logic. Keep using logic. Okay, I'm not falling. I know that that's a straight line. I know that my brain is playing tricks on me right now. Kind of talk yourself through it. It can help a little bit, but again, you're not going to feel comfortable with a lot of these positions. Again, if you have some of these issues going on and it just takes a ton of patience and getting your exposing yourself to these positions and kind of again recalibrating that brain. And then that is it for this video. This isn't going to be applicable to everyone that watches these videos. Again, this is a small select group of people that have had strokes or damage on the right side of the brain. So hopefully for those of you, you found this video helpful. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, definitely hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so that you will get notified every time I upload new videos. If this video didn't apply to you and you wanna get a couple of different exercises to add to your home exercise program this week, head on over to Instagram and join us over there where I do post one to two exercises every single week just to help add a little variety to your home exercise program. I enjoyed spending time with you all today and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.